officially begin the 2016 USC Body Computing Conference 10.0. Things are finally maturing, so it almost felt like the first. So major solutions and products in the in the areas we're working in, you know, chronic disease, wellness, and military performance. So this year we focused on uh, immersion and virtual and augmented reality to deliver patient and training solutions. We showed a number of initiatives. One, our intent to start an institute that will help provide access for people who can't afford phones and data plans so they can have access to these great health solutions. Just the networking opportunity, uh, as uh, Leslie Saxon commented, although we're talking about digital health, uh, we as humans, we're analog devices, so uh, connecting one-on-one -on -one and, and directly with each other is very important. All the amazing work that we've done with our students and our collaborative faculty and our solutions to things like being able to access a doctor 24-7, building trust before a cancer operation. Dr. Alexis Saxon was fantastic. She and her team really came up with the idea. Obviously, we at Nokia, uh, digital media in any way, don't really know much about healthcare. I'm no doctor myself, but they came to us with a proposal and the idea, and they really thought this could be not only groundbreaking, but very helpful to the patients, very helpful for other doctors, and really sort of lead the way and show what VR can be in healthcare. And we're going to see a VR video, first of its kind in the healthcare field, uh, a surgery and a doctor describing a surgery effectively for patients to see prior to their actual entry into the hospital to hopefully alleviate the tension on the patients so that they then actually show up uh, to their actual surgeries and go through it. Folks actually are more relaxed and therefore maybe recover better. We want to be able to create an innovation center for elite athletic and military training at SC to get serial measures on athletes and warfighters to solve some very difficult problems. With uh, all the technology that's coming down from uh, you know various sporting events, it gives us an opportunity to collaborate with experts in the in the field and to you know uh, troubleshoot some of these ideas and, and brainstorm uh, what the future holds. This conference is wonderful in the sense that it challenges each of us to think about what is the landscape and how can we make a difference. I've met physicians, pharmacists, healthcare providers that just want to learn a little bit more, but if this group works together, I think that it has the potential to really change our thinking. Everyone in the room can attest to the fact that healthcare is hard and biology is challenging. Um, and if we want to do things at an accelerated time frame, then it's really helpful to figure out partnerships that are strategic to get us to have tools for patients and providers as soon as possible. Actually, I was at South by Southwest. I saw Dr. Saxon speaking. And the mission of the shop is to evolve the design and technology towards discoveries that enhance lives. A lot of that lines up with the center itself. The future of digital health is being written in partnerships like VSP and the Center for Body Computing working together. This is probably one of the best conferences I've been to by far in digital health and I've been to a lot of them and I think the reason is they've done a really good job with uh, with selection of, of speakers and, and companies that's focused on solving real problems and not like big hypothetical ideas which some other conferences are guilty of so I found this like really stimulating but very practical these people are taking a day out of their lives myself included you know I got to walk away with something and I always walk away with more than something Hats off to Dr. Saxon for pushing this through and being a pioneer because it takes a lot of work to move something from an idea to the phase at which it's actually being leveraged by the healthcare system. We've got a ways to go, but I think we're seeing a momentum we have not seen in the past.